After that horrible response from Jelena fans at the Met Gala where they chanted Selena's name making Hailey Bieber cry, many people started to spread more rumors suggesting that Justin was mistreating his wife. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right here on IO, but first if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Hailey Bieber has clapped back at rumors of Justin Bieber not being nice to her. While appearing on 4D with Demi Lovato, Hailey went off on the rumors that Justin was not nice to her and mistreats her. She called these allegations big fat lies. Back in July, a video began circulating online that appeared to show Justin yelling at her in Las Vegas. Justin would later take to his Instagram stories to dispel these rumors and say that they had an amazing weekend together, even directly saying that any other narratives were false. Speaking about the rumors, Haley told Demi, There's so many narratives that float around about me, about him, about us together. It's so far from the truth and it's the complete and utter opposite. She then added, I really am lucky to say I'm with someone who is extremely respectful of me, who makes me feel special every single day, so when I see the opposite of that I'm just like, huh? And according to Haley, it has been important for her to remind herself of what is actually true, especially in the face of all of these rumors. The truth is that these two have never been more obsessed with each other, which doesn't mean that the relationship doesn't have challenges, and Haley actually expressed that one of her biggest fears before getting married was really losing her independence. However, luckily both of them really enjoy and value their own personal space. She goes on to say, One of the things that I love the most is if we're out somewhere together, we could separate for hours at a party and find each other for five minutes and be like, hey, are you having fun? Oh cool, see you in a bit. And just like keep moving, that feels like a good space to me. The celebrity couple got engaged in July of 2018 after they reignited their relationship a month prior following years of on again off again rumors of them dating. The pair then married in a private ceremony in September of 2018 and then held a ceremony with friends and family just a year later. Because of how famous these two are though, I really doubt that the rumor mill will ever stop spinning. But that being said, it is nice to hear that they are actually on the same page when it comes to their own relationship. Which is the way it should be and especially if you're a celebrity couple. With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Machine Gun Kelly Fights a Fan Because of This. It's Doofin says, he is not a future baby daddy, he's a future random people fighter. Nah, that's a good title. Ryan Holloway says, he keeps talking crap about Slipknot, people are not really going to get him. I, I don't think he should anger Slipknot fans, I don't think that's the people that you want after you. Iquando says, why didn't he throw a punch when McGregor threw a drink at him? Oh, come on, come on. Why would anyone throw a punch at McGregor if it's not sanctioned in an octagon and you're not getting a big prize for it, really? Lovely Lady Lock says, You cannot speak bad about the kings of metal and not expecting any repercussions. I like MGK, but his attitude is out of control. At this point, I think he's just trying to get media attention, and, and really in that scenario, someone jumped over the barrier, so he was pretty warranted in trying to be like, Hey guys, can we can we get this dude out of here, please? Chris Angelo says, He likes fighting when he knew there is security all around. I mean, you're not wrong. He did realize that there were a lot of security around it, but again, like I just said, I think he was more so just trying to get this fan out of his personal space while he was just trying to give the fans their show. Although I do not appreciate the words he had for Slipknot. I'll just put that in there. As always, though, thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.